Hi, welcome to Figma Friday number two. In this episode, what I'd like to do is give you a general walkthrough of the Figma user interface. So let's go ahead and get started. So for starters, uh, I am using the free version of Figma. That's uh, what I'll be focusing on primarily uh, through these educational videos. Uh, and I am uh, working on a Windows operating system running Figma in uh, their desktop app, which you can download from their website. So once you get started with Figma and um, open the app, uh, you'll be presented with this uh, main landing page. So here, if I click on my username, I'll have my uh, public uh, profile page where I can enter in all of my uh, contact information and everything that's visible in the Figma community. Uh, here, uh, since I'm using the free version of Figma and I'm not part of any team, um, this uh, window will show me just the recent files uh, or teams that I have been a part of. Um, and then the plugins view tells me which plugins I've installed into Figma uh, from the community and then the settings area that gives you all of your account information. So once we get into search, uh, this is where I'm able to search through my files uh, within my drafts or the community. Uh, the recent area, uh, this gives me all of my files uh, which I currently have within my account. This is all of my different side projects that I've been working on. Uh, if we get into the community, which is still in beta uh, during this recording, this is Figma's um, basically designer portal where uh, all, all of the Figma users can post uh, all of their working files and then you can go in here and search for things like uh, design systems or illustrations and browse through the different files that people have published uh, and duplicate them and explore them to see how they've been created. And then if I go into drafts, which is generally the area where I keep all of my working files, uh, I'll be able to get some of those opened up uh, and uh, begin working uh, on my design. So for this example, uh, I'll open my the training journey project, uh, which is uh, one of my side projects that I actively work on, uh, all using Figma. So the file, once I open it from the main page, it opens up uh, as a tab uh, up here at the top, which I can reorganize within the app. Um, this is the Figma editor uh, user interface. Here we have a primary control bar across the top. Uh, if you click on the hamburger menu, you will have a list of uh, all of your control menus that you can go through or just simply search for them um, using Figma search. Uh, then you have all of your various controls uh, for drawing your layouts and art within the uh, the uh, creation area. Uh, some of these tools I'll get into in greater detail in future videos. Then I have my uh, user, uh, which is myself, who is currently active in this file. Uh, share button brings up the share uh, modal where you can share this file with additional Figma users. And uh, this uh, drop down list gives you control over how you're viewing your space. Uh, there's also on the, the Windows uh, desktop app, there's a little hidden menu here for creating a new window or new file and some additional controls you can find there. Uh, so going back over to the left side, uh, we have the navigation uh, panel. Um, currently we're looking at the layers and pages. So these, these are the pages here and you can create as many pages as you'd like within a single file. Uh, it's sort of an infinite space. So I have my pages. Uh, I organize all of my work by categories here. You can collapse this view uh, to reveal more of the layers. Uh, generally, I like to uh, keep it open. Um, that way I can quickly navigate through my file. And then right below the pages is the list of layers, um, which you basically used to navigate through all of your design elements. So as I'm selecting things in the main drawing area, I'm able to drill down to specific layers uh, in the side panel on the left side here. 
And moving over to the right side of the Figma UI, uh, we have the main properties panel, uh, which consists of three different areas. The design area, if I don't have anything, any art selected uh, in the art area, then I have the, uh, uh, the background information here, uh, which controls uh, the main background for the entire page. Uh, then I have any of my text styles and color styles that I've created for my file uh, along with any effect styles and grid styles that I've created. Uh, also, if I want to export anything like this design that I have here, uh, I'm able to select that and hit the export button there. And jumping into the prototype view, this is for those of you who are doing any kind of prototype testing um, of your UI mockups uh, on mobile devices and such, uh, you're able to go through the prototype view and draw these little uh, rubber band uh, connectors between all of the different frames which are controlled through the pro prototype view. And then lastly, uh, the inspect view. Uh, this is more for uh, designer to developer handoff. So when a developer uh, selects elements within um, the uh, Figma artboard, they're able to, to through the inspector, see a lot of the, uh, the HTML uh, information or CSS information for how the layouts and the art and things were created. So they can grab code snippets out of here and then paste it into uh, actual uh, working code. And um, lastly, if I have any kind of art selected uh, and I head over to uh, the design tab in the properties panel on the right, so let's select that, uh, the Figma UI intuitively changes in this right panel uh, all based on what you're interacting with uh, in, um, in the art uh, creation area. So with this frame selected, my right properties panel uh, design view changes to give me all the relevant controls for this selected element. So I can have all of my alignment properties uh, and uh, descriptions for components, uh, layout grid and colors, styles, and the export information here. Uh, I'll get into some of these things in greater detail in future videos, uh, but this in general is the, uh, the how the Figma user interface is structured. Uh, it's basically the same thing if you use Figma uh, in the web browser, uh, but this is the, the way for you to navigate through this app as you get into creating some of your art in, in here. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.